In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we begin this new week, let's surrender all our tasks to the Lord. May the Lord walk with us. May the Lord protect us in all that we do. This day we remember and pray for the Department of Statistics of our college. We remember Sir Mahesh Barua, the head of the department, Sir Sangude, Mami Yafishi Shahinyotha, Bhaiya CM, Namritu Parna Charji. And we remember and pray for all the three years of students. May the Lord keep them always in good health, their near and dear ones, and in His care and protection. We also remember Neha Duya, who celebrates her birthday today. We ask the Lord to bless her today and keep her in God's care and love. We remember and pray for the good health of Julia and Akarkungor, Sister Riz Mary Marwain and the shelter home for the sisters and children, their good health. Neil Andrew Periyad, Sibyl Muli, Yashang Langi Singhorn, we pray for the good health of all of these people and God's love and care on them. We remember and pray also for the Jesus Youth Volunteers who are in the field helping out the needy for their good health and God's protection on all of them and blessing on the work that they, they do. Remember and pray for the departed soul of Regis, Mary and Then. Let's also bring all of the intentions that we have. We turn to the Lord. May the Lord bless us. May we be blessed because we live the Beatitudes in God's way. Let's ask pardon for all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask us, Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it grant this through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever Amen. a reading from the second letter of saint paul to the corinthians Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, a brother, to the church of God that is at Corinth, with all the saints who are in the whole of Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's suffering, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. If we are afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation. And if we are comforted, it is for your comfort which you experience when you patiently endure the same suffering that we suffer. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our suffering, you will also share in our comfort. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Your response, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. 
Please can see that the Lord is good. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. Please can see that the Lord is good. Look toward him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly one called, the Lord heard, and rescued him from all his distress. Please thus see that the Lord is good. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who fear him, to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. Please thus see that the Lord is good. Gospel Acclamation. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Lord be with you. And Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory Glory to you. Chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, where they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you, persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Dear friends, we are beginning the Gospel of Matthew, begin with the fifth chapter, in fact, that is the central theme, the Kingdom of God, we know in Matthew and today we have the teaching of the Beatitudes. It's interesting what is actually happening, the fourth chapter if you look, it's the whole crowd, Jesus does the miracles, healing and there are many and the words used, then he goes up to the mountain he sits and teaches. Going up the mountain is always difficult. So the Lord going up, you know, Moses did the other way. He came down to the people and taught them. But Jesus goes up, sits and teaches. Why that? And only to the disciples. May not only be the twelve, there will be others. Which means this was a higher calling. You know, which means you need to climb up to observe what is going to be taught. Those who were below the crowd, of course, they would be bigger because all wanted healing immediate but here was a higher calling the beatitudes which is a central calling measure and criteria for being true disciples we can just go through each you know, i'm sure this is where i should measure myself am i truly a christian not the ten commandments that is minimum okay there all of us will pass but when i look at the beatitudes i'm sure all of us fail many ways let's just have a look I'm taking my reflections from another father. Okay. 
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We know the poor of the Lord. What does it mean? This does not only mean physical poverty, but blessed are the poor in spirit. This is when I realize that God is the most important and my grace, even whatever I do, is because of him. It is then that I am truly poor in spirit. That means I depend on my God for everything. Am I? Even what God has given, even my grace is his very gift. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. All of us cry occasionally, but very often we cry, let's say, for some selfish interest. Maybe I lose something, etc. They are justified, fine, but this mourning is something deeper. This is when I mourn for my own sins and when I mourn for the sins of the world, the church, and pray, and they will be comforted. That is an assurance. Blessed are the meek, or in another version, blessed are the merciful, for they will inherit the earth. I'm sure in all of us there is an innate nature to react you know, and take, let's say, take revenge. But the Lord tells us, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. You know? There are very many saints who have inherited the earth, someone who lived somewhere in the world, but is remembered all over the world, the earth, is because of this. They showed mercy. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Many social workers take this as a central theme. Of course, they convert it as, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice. If you look at the real translation, it is not justice. This is not going for dharna and protest only. Okay. Here the word used is righteousness. So, as we know, hunger and thirst cannot be induced. It's a physical. No? You cannot be, you cannot think, want to be hunger. It means it's an innate longing, natural longing. So, what is this righteousness? Righteousness is nothing but holiness. So, when I hunger and when I long, to be holy and that is the innermost and when there is they will be filled and when I if I long for God's holiness that reward will come to me blessed are the merciful for they will receive mercy this is give and take here no? I am called to be merciful because I realize I am imperfect the world there is imperfection and every other also is imperfect so as I need God's mercy, I'm called to be merciful. So what I give, when I give mercy, it will come back to me. And this is a gift that really measures my Christianity in me, merciful. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Of course, the first meaning here is purity, purity of heart. Of course, I commit a sin, I go to the Lord, ask pardon, and the Lord forgives, I have become blessed pure in heart but it is a little more deeper which means this God becomes the most important person I long for in everything blessed are the pure in heart and if he is the center we will see God that means even in the worst happening even in the worst person we will be able to see God when I am pure in heart and we need really God's grace blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called children of God to sow seeds of peace wherever it is I'm sure we can do you know very often we bring division wherever maybe I go I'm able to divide the community or I can be able to divide the group but the Lord is calling us to unite to bring peace and great is then I will be called the children of God blessed are the perse those persecuted for righteousness again this is persecution for standing for God standing for longing for holiness and if that stands on our way, I'm sure inherit the kingdom of heaven. That is when I stand for God, stand for holiness. And the last two, nine, eight, the attitudes, almost the same meaning. Difference, this is a true measure. Am I a Christian? And when we look against these beatitudes, are we really blessed? And the Lord went up to the mountain, meaning a challenge to the disciples. No? They had to physically walk up to the Lord and listen. And this is a central theme of St. Matthew's Gospel, the Sermon on the Mount. May the Lord make us really blessed because we observe 
and lift this Christian measure. We ask the Lord, the Eucharistic Lord who comes on this altar for this grace. Let us pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. So the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, a duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and gave it thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he to the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Victor our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember Regis Mariantin and all our near and dear ones departed, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, the Apostles, Saint Anthony, Saint John Bosco, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. We pray for the coming of God's kingdom, the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from all sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, Holy One reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your Let's offer each other God's peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away all our sins. Blessed are we who are called to receive him. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. As we receive the Lord sacramentally, spiritually into us, we pray that the Lord may really come into us, really fill us with his longing, with his righteousness, with his purity, that we live truly blessed before him.
Let us pass our lips as for the Lord may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for all eternity. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Blessed and praised be every moment. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We bring before the Lord all our prayers, intentions, people, with our own Department of Statistics, Sir Mahesh, Sir Sangu, Ma'am Hiafisha, Bayak Manlang, Ritu Parna, and all the three years of students. May the Lord bless their near and dear ones, their families, Keep them always in his care and love. We pray for Nehaduya, who celebrates her birthday today. Pray for the good health of Juliana Karkungor, Sister Riz Mary Marwe, all the, the sisters and children at Shelter Home, Neil Andrew Pariyat, Sibyl Muli, Yashngan Ngi Sinkhon. We pray that the Lord may touch all these people and hear their prayer and keep them in his care and love. We also pray for the Jesus Youth Volunteers who are in the field helping out the needy. May God's care and protection be on all of them. We also remember the needy to whom we reach out. Remember the departed soul of Regis, Mary and Ten. Let's bring all of our intentions before the Lord. Let's ask the Lord to make us truly blessed, living the Beatitudes to the full every day, every moment. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Lord Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His Holy Son, our Lord, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body Lord, and blood, soul and divinity of your dear beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ who died for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of
of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful person. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful person. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful person. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful person. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful person. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful person, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy, holy God, God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. 
blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as the fountain of mercy for us. I trust to you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as the fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. Litany of the Sacred Heart. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity one God. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, infinite in majesty. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, a base of all virtues. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, King and Center of all hearts. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of divinity. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we all received. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and most merciful. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who call upon you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, propitiation of our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, loaded down with reproaches. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto death. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with the lance. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim of sin. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Light of all things. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Make our hearts like unto yours. Blessed and praise be every moment. Be the most holy and divine sacrament. Blessed and praise be every moment. Be the most holy and divine sacrament. Blessed and praise be every moment. Be the most holy and divine sacrament. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We surrender all our intentions, people we prayed for, and ask God's care and love as we say. Most merciful and triumph God. We come, we come to you in our weakness, we come to you in our fear, we come to you with trust. For you alone are our hope. We place before you the deceased present in our world. We turn to you in our time of need. Bring wisdom to doctors, give understanding to scientists, and to our caregivers with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill, protect those who are most at risk, give comfort to those who have lost a loved one. Welcome those who have died into your eternal home. Stabilize our communities. Unite us in our compassion. Remove our fear from our hearts. Fill us with confidence in your care. 
Jesus, 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 Amen. Pray to the Holy Family. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, do you may contemplate the splendor of true love. To you, we turn with trust. Holy Family of Nazareth, grant that our families too may be places of communion, prayer, and go the mixed schools of the gospel and small domestic churches. Holy Family of Nazareth, may our families never again experience one and rejection and division. May all who have been hurt find every comfort and healing. Holy Family of Nazareth, make this heir of the sacredness of the family and his beauty in us. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, we said the novena to Saint Anthony. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful and enkindle them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created. Amen. Let us pray, O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful. Grant that by the gift of the same Holy Spirit, we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for us, O great Saint Anthony. That we may be remembered in the promises of Christ, the memorare. Remember, O oh good Saint Anthony, Roker of God, that never was it heard that anyone ever invoked your protection or sought your aid without being consoled. In this confidence, I come before you and fervently recommend myself to your care. Despise not a faithful servant of God, the prayer of the humble child, but graciously hear and attend it. Amen. Act of dedication to Saint Anthony. O oh, blessed Saint Anthony, I dedicate myself to your honor and give myself to you, that you may always be my protector, my guide, in way of salvation. Obtain for me a great purity of heart and a sincere love of God and my neighbor. After your example, may I do all my actions for the greater glory of God, in union with the divine heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary. Saint Anthony, pray for me that I may enjoy the grace of a happy death. Petitions. O glorious Saint Anthony, unfailing worker of miracles, to you do we praise our hearts and hands to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the loving heart of Jesus all the help and graces necessary for our spiritual and temporal warfare, particularly for the grace of final perseverance and the special fervor we now implore. O glorious Saint Anthony, whose childhood, youth and manhood were ever consecrated to God and His Blessed Mother, hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. O glorious Saint Anthony, whose prayerful life and priestly labors were blessed with wondrous results, hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. O glorious Saint Anthony, whose preaching was confirmed by prodigious signs and wondrous miracles, hear our prayers and O glorious Saint Anthony, whose eloquence made heretics flee and Satan surrender his victims. O glorious Saint Anthony, whose blessed tongue did always bless the Lord and made others to do the same. O glorious Saint Anthony, whose tongue was preserved from corruption even after death. Hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. O glorious Saint Anthony, who was privileged to carry Jesus in your arms. Hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. O glorious Saint Anthony, whose virtuous life was rewarded by the presence of Jesus in their last agony. Hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. O glorious Saint Anthony, universal apostle of the poor and needy. Hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. O glorious Saint Anthony, protector and patron of this college. Yeah. 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 Pray for us, O Saint Anthony. Yeah. 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 Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who glorified your faithful confessor, Saint Anthony, with the perpetual gift of miracles, graciously grant that what we confidently seek through his merits we may surely receive by his intercession. Through the intercession of Saint Anthony, may God hear our prayers and bless all of you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Masi Center, let's go in God's love.
Gott, without in time, most the sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us, Margaret heart of Mary, pray for us. 